Namaskaram. I am going to show you a sample project student information system based on Python MySQL connectivity. This is my project folder. In this, I have two Python files. First one, create. I will show you the content of the create file. This file contains codes for database and table creation. Codes for connection. Then database creation and use. Name of my database is SIS. Next is table creation. Name of the table is student. And the attributes are admission number, name, class, division, address, phone number, date of birth, parent name and blood group. Then my second table. This table is to store the password. I have inserted the password demo. Then my second file project SIS. This file contains the main source code of my project. There are two sections in this program. First part is the main menu. Main menu contains the options to add a record, update, delete, search, display all the records and exit. Function is called according to user's choice. Then the second part is database connectivity and password checking. This part is under the main area or global area of my program. Connectivity, then accepted the password from the user, fetch the password from the table, then checking whether the password matches. If it matches, it will call the function menu. Otherwise, display wrong password, try again. We will see the function menu. Menu function. If choice is 1, call the function add data. We will see the function add data. I have given the codes in try except block for handling errors. The data accepted from the user are Admission number, name, class, division, address, phone number, date of birth, parent name and blood group. Then add the data into the table or insert, insert the record into the table. I have done this using parameterized query with format function that we have already discussed in Python MySQL connectivity. If any error occurred while typing the values, it will show the error, error invalid data. Otherwise, it will insert the record into the table student. And the second menu option is choice to update data. That is to edit the content of the already existing record. We will see the update data function. Again, I have given in try accept block. For updation, first accept the admission number of the student whose data has to be changed. Then enter the new data for that admission number. Then execute update student set these values. Where admission number equal to the given admission number. If any error occur while typing the data, it will show error message. Then the third option, delete data. Name of my function is del data. We will see. See the del data function. First accept the admission number to delete the record. Then execute the query to delete the record from the student table. Then the next option is choice for search. Search a particular record from the table. For that the function is search. The searching is based on admission number. So accept the admission number from the user. Then execute select query where admission number equal to the given admission number. Fetch the record from the record set. Here only one record. So fetch one is enough to fetch. Then display all the details. Next option is 
choice file display display all the records in that table student function display select star from student fetch all the records from the result set then display all the records using a loop if any error display error unable to fetch data then the last option choice 6 is exit then this loop will stop if you give the choice as 6 or if you give n for do you want to continue we will see the program once again and how it works my first file create I am going to execute it no error my database and table are created then my main program execute the program password I have given demo as the password my menu and the your choice one admission number one not one name Arjun class five division A address Sandalam phone number date of birth parent name blood group record added do you want to continue yes choice 5 my record added do you want to continue yes enter your choice 2 there is updation enter the admission number 101 enter the new data for the admission number 101 name Arjun class 6 I have changed the class division B address Pandalam phone number date of birth for date of birth we can use slash in between or hyphen Parent name Mohan Blood Group A positive Record updated. Do you want to continue? Yes. Enter your choice. I'm going to add one more record. One admission number 105. Name Raju class. 5 division C address Adur Patrandita phone number date of birth Parent name, blood group, one more record added. Do you want to continue? Yes, again. Enter your choice. Option 4, search. Admission number 101. Do you want to continue? Yes, again. Enter your choice. Option 5. Both the records displayed. Then do you want to continue again? Yes. Option 3. Delete. Enter the admission number. 101. 
record deleted do you want to continue yes enter your choice file only one record do you want to continue yes again enter your choice one I will show you what will happen if the data is not properly entered. Admission number one or three, name Sunil, class. I have given A. See error, invalid data because class is an integer value. So if you made any error while typing, it will show appropriate errors. Do you want to continue? Yes. Then last option exit 6. I will show you the program once again. Main menu. Then add data function. Update data function, then del data function, search. display and in the global area I have given the code for connectivity and password checking this is all about this project you can do varieties of project using these type of functions thank you